mission of David's Refuge is to provide respite, resources, and support to parents and guardians of children with special needs. We are here today celebrating caregivers through a retreat-style conference. Parents coming today will experience respite. They'll actually get to rest and breathe life back into themselves. In addition, they will experience a community of other caregivers who are on the same journey, as well as agency partners who truly get it and are here to show up and provide extremely valuable resources for these families. As I look at something like wellness, it's incredibly important to us. Um, we're constantly chasing something when it comes to having a special needs child. When I look at David's Refuge and what it does for us, it, it truly is amazing what, what they're trying to do for all of us in this community. Vendor Fair has been fantastic. Uh, we've talked to people about camps and uh, dietary things um, and just great ideas that you wouldn't necessarily know where to go uh, just by picking up and, and searching on Google or something like that. And then the fellowship with the other parents is, is just absolutely important. Um, we just had a great panel discussion, which I got to be a part of, which was a lot of fun, and, and really tell some more stories and, and try to understand how each of us cope with it and how we deal with it. One of the things I love most about David's Refuge is a line I heard recently from the founders. We had a choice. We could get bitter or we can get better. Things like this do nothing but make us all better. It feels uh, very warm and soothing that around uh, other people to know exactly what you're going through or you're dealing with or, or, and also the fact that there's a, a group out there that cares for those caregivers to try to help give them a break or a chance to spend a little time or something with your, your significant other um, and it's a, a beautiful t touching thing. It was a good time for yes. us to get away and spend some time with each other and spend time with others um, that we can connect with. And it's a very good thing. So one of the ongoing challenges of having a child that has a disability or a, a medical need, it really takes such a toll on your relationships, um, specifically with your relationship with your significant other you start to really um, go into the regular mode of just survival, where you're really just doing things day to day just to survive, just to get by. And because you're doing so many things, it's really hard to be a good partner when you are just exhausted, when your cup is empty, when your cup is below empty. So today, getting to listen to the keynote speakers and listening to the panel to have takeaways that Jim and I can actually work on together in our marriage and we can commit to um, doing things differently and supporting each other and finding things that actually fill our cup. So if I had one regret, the only thing I would say is that we can't stay longer.